Good afternoon to you. Thank you for sharing a part of your afternoon with us. I'm Ed Harding. Nothing much going on here today, huh? Lovely summer afternoon, just an afternoon of bowling. Not really just an afternoon of bowling because a champion will be crowned within the next half hour. Of course, appropriately, the bonus money has been adjusted. We'll fill you in with that as the afternoon goes on. But it's the afternoon of championship teams, yellow, red, and blue. The colors are all set. The bowlers are all set. So, gentlemen, the second seed and the third seeds will roll off for the right to bowl against the top seed. And wearing the yellow is Jim Putney, half of the Putney O'Connell team. He'll get us underway. The state championship, that's a pretty sweet way to get us underway. The Gregory brothers are... It's too bad they couldn't bang, bang off the start here, huh? We're looking for consistency, huh? Bob and Mark Gregory have won four matches in a row on Candlepin doubles in 1988. Very familiar with the glare of television lights and the pressure of rolling in a championship tournament format. So each bowler marking in the first frame. That's quite a start, huh? Not many marks on the scoreboard. <laughs> first bonus ball is four for Jim Putney. And the spare <laughs> Phil, it's teetering, but it is not going to go on the Phil is a six. Disappointing Phil on the strike for Jim Putney. Phil is a five. You have to bang out start with the strike. He only adds five bonus pins. And importantly enough, left himself in a difficult spare lead, which he wasn't able to get. So in the second frame, Jim Putney fills it with a seven. And one half of the Gregory brothers leaves it at a 10. Four pin difference, the Gregory's over O'Connell and Putney. What will happen here today is that Putney and O'Connell will roll against the two Gregory's for one string. Come with a high score at the end of that, will roll against our top seeds. So Jack Quinn and Dennis Shute are waiting to, waiting to shoot it out. This could be a roadblock. This was a roadblock. How many times do you see that, though, you know? Ralph Stewart's going to go do some dressing. And notice Ralph's not wearing socks. Must be because it's summer, huh? Either that or he has tanned ankles. I'm not sure which. <laughs> Jimmy Putney going right out to 10 and gets it. To put a 10 up in the third frame. So after a bang out start, each bowler is left its next two frames without marks. And it's a one pin difference. Difficult spare lead, not impossible, but difficult striking the hit pin almost too square. Jim Putney from Holliston, Mass. Will not mark here in the fourth frame. The nine up. As he reset the lane, he hit the reset button with a little energy, a little disappointment. The Gregory's have stretched their lead to two pins. Quite obviously, a match that anyone can take at any point. Jimmy rolled it left. It stayed left, and it left him. Left him with a potential spare. He can do it. And he does. So that's a way to roll out his final frame. And that's not the way 
for the Gregory's. That was a spare leave, and that'll be a disappointing ball. Second straight disappointing ball. He'll fill it with a nine. And O'Connell and Putney will work on a bonus ball. We'll be back in candle pin doubles through boxes rolled. It is a two pin advantage for the Gregors, but that will change when we come back. Our skill, your home. Our profession, your most valuable possession. When your home needs a new look, don't trust just anyone. Call the best. Call New England Brickmaster. Our custom remodeling has increased the value of thousands of homes, making them beautiful, distinctive, maintenance-free. And we're quick and affordable. New England Brickmaster will be there from start to finish. From design through installation of our exclusive masonry, real brick, and acrylic wall finishes, all available with insulation in any color, texture, or pattern you desire. Think of your most valuable possession. Then, call New England Brickmaster. For over 35 years, the best value in custom remodeling. Now is the perfect time to call. Find out why. Call 1-800-647-1300. When you buy a new John Deere Silver Walk Behind Mower, you'll enjoy mowing your lawn so much, you may get carried away. Right into your neighbor's lawn and their neighbor's lawn. Because mowing with a John Deere Walk Behind is so fast and easy, you won't want to stop. And during deer season, prices start at just $4.49. See your dealer for details on the exclusive John Deere 30-day money-back guarantee. See your local John Deere dealer in West Bridgewater, East Kingston, Maynard, Brentham, or West Boylston. Check the yellow pages for the dealer nearest you. In Brimfield, there's a rite of spring that transforms front yards into open-air bazaars. I think it's the biggest antique show in the United States, if not in the, in the world. Even the most civilized shoppers tend to go a little crazy. You get what's known as bye-bye blues. You know, bye-bye anything you see and then bye-bye to your money. <laughs> Join in the treasure hunt as we travel the main streets and back roads of Massachusetts on Chronicle, Monday at 7.30 on Channel 5. It's time for Dick O'Connell and Mark Gregory to carry the standards. Dick O'Connell is the one rolling a former WCBC Pro Bowler of the Year and the 87 and 88 True Value Champion. And here's Mark Gregory. Pick up where his brother started and left him with a lead. At least through four boxes completed, but of course, Dick O'Connell filled the spare with a five. So O'Connell and Putney have taken a four-pin advantage. And knowing Dick, I know he won't be too satisfied with that. Almost got the action to come back and take the seven and do it! Well, you think, it would be, you think it's not fair to say Mark marked in that box? All right, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear it. <laughs> I don't promise they're good, just quick. It's just rapid fire. <laughs> the Gregory's are working on a bonus ball, but you're watching Dick O'Connell. The Gregory's hold a 1377 to achieve their number two seed in our tournament. Well, you fill a spare with a nine, and you assume a six-pin advantage. So the wood has gotten each of them. I got Jim Putney earlier, and they denied Dick O'Connell from a mark. Second straight mark for Mark. If mark keeps marking, we'll have to mark out the money. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about the only one that enjoys them, but that's all right. You know, it's funny, it's, it's awfully quiet here, and the almost feeling is you expect O'Connell to bust out and do it because he has done it before. But Mark Gregory seems to have <laughs> found his mark. And he left himself with the potential for a third straight mark. <laughs> I 
A lot of pin action, but it won't give Dick O'Connell what he was looking for. Let's see if this ball gives Mark Gregory what he's looking for. Didn't. There'll be no extra run at bonus money, but more importantly, they have a 13 pin lead through Barks' roll. A lot of disappointment on the face of Dick O'Connell. He has two boxes left to erase what has grown to a 14-point deficit. Certainly well within the strike of his arm. He can get that. This time the seven won't go. Be a tough pickup. I'll tell you, it must be glued to the floor. He's going to get some action out of it, but it's not going to go. There's wood in front of the seven. <laughs> Dick O'Connell puts a 10 up in the ninth box. And Mark Gregory can match it, but, it, you know, okay. that's a nine. Ralph Stewart marks it as a nine. One frame of bowling to go. The winners will move on to roll against Jack Quinn and Dennis Shute. It is a 13-pin deficit for Dick O'Connell to make up. Left himself with a spread eagle. Tough move. And he is not going to do it. So Dick O'Connell and Jim Putney will watch the Gregories against Jack Quinn and Dennis Shute. Four horsemen left side. Go out for Mark Gregory. He... Mark marks. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Dick O'Connell finishing out with a nine in the 10th box. A 103 for the O'Connell Putney team. And this will be like stepping up to the plate in the bottom of the ninth inning with a three run lead. You don't have to. <laughs> they fall down, we'll put up a 15 in the 10th frame and a 122 for the Gregories. They will move on to roll against Jack Quinn and Tennis Shoot. Here on Candlepin Doubles, we still have another string to go. Please stay with us. Joe Garagiola here with Johnny Bench back at Toyota's big league sales event. The fans are set for great Camry deals. Andrews looks in. Like the Camry sedan? Nice, but so's the wagon. Uh, but I'll take the sedan. No, I'll take She's the in wagon. a pickle here, John. No wonder, with savings up to 735 on option packages and factory dealer incentives up to 1200, any Camry's a good catch. Well, we could be going into extra innings. Toyota's big league sales event with even bigger Camry incentives. It's a whole new ball game. Hi, I'm Chris Vanacore, host of Sunday Morning's Real Estate Review. If you're in the market to buy a home or property, you already know what a time-consuming process that can be. Finding the right neighborhood, the right home, and the right mortgage. Join me every Sunday morning for a half-hour tour of homes throughout New England, and if you're a first-time buyer, cut through the red tape and get pre-qualified for a mortgage right over the phone. 10.30 this Sunday morning, here on Channel 5. Hey guys, what do you say we go for some real action time? Some place where there's lots of people around. Somewhere we can get something decent to eat. Some place where there's like real excitement. A place where we all can be winners. 
Wonderland, right? We are 10 frames away from a new NBA men's open doubles champion in the red shirt. Bob Gregory. Got a lot of action. Drop six pins, and you're watching in the blue shirt. Jack Quinn. Would love nothing more than to wear the mantle as the mighty Quinn. He's half of our top seeds in this tournament fashion. Jack Quinn starts it with a spare. And Bob Gregory opens with a 10. Jack and his partner Dennis have both appeared on Candle Pin Bowling with Don Gillis. Bob started his ball right, brought it quickly left. It did not give him the action he wanted. Jack fills with a seven to take a seven pin lead. Disappointing second ball for Bob Gregory. A lot of action in the pins and almost looked like the eight would go, but it didn't. Doesn't leave any pins standing. Just jumped out to a quick 10 pin lead. Here in the NBA state championships, the minute Bob threw the ball, he was disappointed. He took his right hand, slapped the stop. 10 stays. Frustration on Bob's face. He's rushing and he's pushing it and he's feeling it. And Jack Quinn missed it. <clears throat> Rolling here in the third box of the second string. In our state championship. Jack Quinn still hasn't left a pin, and that's significant. He's jumped out to a 13 pin lead now. Just to break down the prize money for you, the third place finishers, which are O'Connell and Putney, earn themselves $350. Second place finishers, $500. And the ones that win today stick 800 bucks in their pocket. Each man having a shot. At this tournament, Bob Gregory is looking at the alley as the wood settles. It's a significant ball. Patience is the key. <clears throat> Jack didn't get all the diamond, just got half of it, but nonetheless, he got enough of it. First frame, he's left a pin standing, but he still has a 12-pin advantage. Bob Gregory would love nothing more than a bang out in this last frame. He's got a spare leave. So does Jack Quinn. There's wood between the two. Well, that's the way Bob Gregory wanted to start it. At least he finished it that way. That's the way Jack Quinn started it. And he finished it. So each bowler has left his partner for the bonus situation. Mark Gregory and Dennis Shute will pick up now and take us the rest of the way. Come on, Shute. The rest of the way towards the Men's Open Doubles Championship. Leaves himself spread eagle left, fills it with six. And Denny shoots down eight, fills it with eight.
calling here in the sixth box. This championship game. All right, check it out, Jim. Check it out. Each man hitting it flat. Neither one picking up what was a potential spare. Mark Gregory hits it. Leaving himself a nine. Denny shoot. Knocks them all down. It is now a 15 pin advantage with four frames of bowling to go for Quinn and shoot in the state championship match. Then he started it right, brought it quickly left, and it went too far left. Quinn and Shooter taking a step closer to the state championship. And the Gregory's are taking a step closer to being the runners up. <clears throat> it's at least a 15 pin advantage, and of course, Denny Shute has a bonus ball. Much like a pitcher. Step off the mound, lick his fingers, take a deep breath. Mark Gregory knows what's in front of him. The bases are loaded, and he's got to get him out. It's a spare leaf. <laughs> Denny rolled it. He thought he had more than seven. Seven is perfect. And they have opened up a 21-pin advantage. Threw it down a gap. One foot down and one foot up. Mark Gregory is looking at the scoreboard, which shows a 21 pin deficit with two frames of bowling to go. He needs some late inning heroics. He's gonna get back the match. There it is. Can't match him pin for pin. He's got a better one. like a mirrored frame. There's wood in the front. The tent is shaking, but it won't go. Shoot knocks them all down. It is a 22 pin advantage. Even if he strikes this one out, he can't do it. So we have ourselves a new state champion. He's half of it. The interesting thing is that the three seeds that we brought to the finals here will end up the way they came in. The top seeds of Shoot and Quinn will win. The second seeds of the Gregories will finish second. O'Connell and Putney, who came in as the third seeds, leave us today as the third seeds. It is all but over for one last ball. Denny Shoot wants to go out. Well, I don't know if that's a bang or a whimper, but it really doesn't matter. Gregory's put together 94. 
but Quinn and Shoot, a 125, and they are a new state champion. Gallopin doubles continues at just a minute, so please stay with us. In a moment, I'll tell you how to get this terrific video cassette free. In the past three decades, you've traveled far and witnessed truly remarkable events. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Many of these events you'll never forget, and others you still don't believe. Well, I'm not a crook. And now, from Life magazine, the unforgettable people and events of those years are captured in an exceptional video cassette, Life Looks Back. And it's yours free from life. With Life Looks Back, in a memorable 30 minutes, you'll travel through the turbulent times to the good times. You believe in miracles? Yes! You'll remember the dream. That we as a people will get to the promised land. You'll attend the big weddings and rejoice with the whole world. All the astonishing events of the past quarter century are here in Life Looks Back. I like it. And by calling this number now, you'll get this unforgettable look at Life Free. You'll also save almost 20% off the cover price of Life Magazine, the magazine that always has been and always will be the pages people turn to for an unforgettable look at life. You'll get 13 big, beautiful issues, including the year in pictures and the 100 most important Americans of the 20th century. All payable in four monthly installments of only $7.97 each. Call now and enjoy life at its best. Life as it is today. Brighter and bolder. Full of color and excitement. With the memorable photos and inspiring stories you expect from life. So call this number now. Hi, I'm Karen, one of the operators here at Life. Call now and I'll send you 13 exciting issues of life including your two special collector's issues at a savings of almost 20% off the cover price. Plus, the Life Looks Back video cassette free with your paid subscription. This offer won't last long, so call right now. Sil Angelotti of the Mass Bowlers Association is here to do the one last piece of business. Come on up, guys, champions. It's all yours, Sil. Thank you. In behalf of the Mass Bowling Association, it gives me great pleasure to present both of you with this award. Here, let me help you here. Thank you. Because you're stuck Jack. here. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. And Dennis, thank you. Congratulations to you. Think we should give him the money? Uh, yes, I think they Nah, should. nah. No, we didn't get any money. No, yeah, gentlemen, yeah. this is yours. Congratulations. I'd love to have a bite out of it. Thank you for entertaining us so well. The ladies join us next week. I'm Ed Harding. Thank you for joining us today. And I'm Mary. Get well. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. On your mark.